Without further ado, let me uh, proceed to the forum this morning. Our first speaker is Mr. Yu Wenyong, Assistant President from Hainan Airlines Aviation Holding Company. Uh, in case uh, many of you may not know too much about Hainan Airlines, let me say that if you travel frequently in China, you see the name everywhere. It is one of the most progressive airlines in China and now embarking on the routes beyond the domestic routes into international routes. Um, Mr. Yu was born in May 1966 in Heilongjiang province in China. He graduated from Nanjing University of Aeronautics and Astronautics in 1987 with an undergraduate degree in aircraft design and engineering. In 1992, Mr. Yu obtained his uh, master's degree in dynamics from Northwestern Political University, Polytechnical University. Mr. Yu rose through the ranks from Deputy General Manager, General Manager of Maintenance and Engineering Department, to become the Vice President of Hainan Airlines. <coughs> he later served as Chairman of Tianjin Airlines and in 2009, Mr. Yu was appointed Assistant President of Hainan, Aviation's, Hainan, Hainan Airlines Aviation Holding Company Limited. Mr. Yu's topic this morning is a big picture of Hainan Airlines. Mr. Yu, please. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, I, I would like to thank you, uh, Dr. NG Park Tu, to invite us to be here to attend this forum on behalf of Asian Aviation Holdings. Because this is the first time to be a uh, simple air show. I'm very glad and very excited. So uh, my topic is about uh, uh, so Hainan, up, a big picture of Hainan. Just like uh, Dr. NG Park Tu mentioned, Lots of people don't know uh, Hainan Airlines, Hainan as a group, uh, too much. Because even for my, my, my friends in, in China, they also some um, get puzzled about uh, how Hainan Airlines group can grow so fast. Because it's only a 20 years old company. But here I'm very honored. I, 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 I'm, I'm willing to share about you what about Airlines, what about the histories. And what about the futures of Hainan Airlines Group? In Hainan Airlines Group, we start from 1993. At that time, it's just the airlines. It's Hainan Airlines Company Limited. And now we have five business segments, including Hainan Airlines Aviation and Tourism and Holding. It's about uh, property and the real estate and the Hainan Airlines capital and logistic. Among the five business sections, HNA Aviation Holding is the biggest one. This is a family tree about uh, our holding company. It looks uh, very complicated, but I'm, I like to say HNA is very young because compared with the well known world class company just like, for example, General Electric and other company, they have more than 100 years history, but Hainan is only 20 years. And Asian is very young because she's very small. Last year, the total revenue of the group is just 140, around 140, uh, sorry, it's about 140 billion Chinese yuan is about um, 30, uh, no more than just 25 billion US dollar. And HA holding is about uh, 9.5 billion US dollar. So it's very small, I think. Yeah. HA is very young because HA never stop changing and the innovation. This is our company. We have more than 20,000 employees, 
and the total fleet about uh, 320, from smallest uh, Embraer 145 to the biggest one, Airbus A340. And now we take about uh, under 15% market share of, uh, of China, domestic China. And then last year, I just mentioned, the total revenue of Asian Holdings is about 9.5 billion US dollar. And during the past several years, we also expanded our business overseas, outside China. Now we have airlines in France, based on Oli Airport, and we have two companies in Turkey, Istanbul, where my cargo airlines is about cargo business. Another is RMO, my technic. And we also set up uh, airlines in Africa, in Ghana, uh, three years ago. It's an aircraft world airlines. And we also have two airlines in Hong Kong, where it's Hong Kong Airlines and Hong Kong Express. And we just acquired last year uh, in Australia about the uh, Arena Flight Academy. It's a uh, focus on the pilot training. Uh, of course, uh, we are going to have another uh, flight academy in France, a South City in France. From the very beginning, we believe that the human resources is very critical to a company to make success. So we try our best to provide our staff and executives all kinds of the training they need, provide them all the opportunity to uh, make themselves qualified and help them to fulfill their career program. So we are very focused on the staff training. I'm oh, sorry. Just like Dr. NG mentioned, you know, I have a lot of position during the past several years. That's me, you know, Hainan Airlines, even in China, it's very known about it because it's a very aggressive appointment for the young people in a high person important position. And this chart is uh, about uh, how we got the awards from the, some media and some uh, organizations. You know, last year and the, in year 2011, you know, Hainan Airlines Group has awarded the annual best employer in China by a lot of organizations. You can see the chart, you know, on the top 10 company, Hainan is not the biggest one, but even not the smallest one, including a very famous Chinese brand, just like you know, uh, Merchants is a bank, and uh, Baidu in China is just like uh, Google. And also, the government also uh, gave a word about uh, the best uh, employment in China to help the government uh, And we are talking about the services. I have to mention, you know, Hainan Airlines also well know about the services. In our group, Hainan Airlines have ranked the, the best airlines in China. And we very focused, fo focused on what our passenger, our customer need, and even beyond this need. Hainan Airlines is commitment to provide our passengers with sincerely, with our Eastern hospitalities idea, we access customer oriented services to create a new flying experiences and exceeding customers' expectations. And this chart tells us about, uh, you know, Hainan Airlines, as I mentioned, now is the one of the five Skytrax five star airlines, including Singapore Airlines. As our idol, and uh, Casey Pacific and uh, Kota Airlines, and Hainan has won this award three years. And we also get a lot of awards from the other organizations, the Skytrax Best Airlines in China, and the Best Stop Service in China, and most valuable Chinese brand top ten, top twenty, uh, top fifty. Excuse me, it's by the brand Z. And we also one the world leading airlines by the business traveler and other organizations.
During the past 20 years, Hainan Air has become stronger and bigger. But we never forget to pay back to the society. Hainan Air has always promotes our core value of to do something for the society and to do something for the others. We take this as our duty to promote social development and progress and always focus on the public welfare and pay back to the society. These are several pictures I'm very interested. You see the pictures on the right uh, on the left side. Ten years ago, Henan Airlines and the Beijing Tongren Hopped Hospital. Beijing Tongren Hospital is very famous because it has the best oculistics in China. And we launched this program called Brightness Action Progress. In the past ten years, Hainan and Tongren Yuan, Tongren Hospital, the joint team has been lots of places, including Tibet, Qinghai province, and African country, including Tanzania, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. And totally we have helped more than 4,500 can direct patients to recover their assets. And the picture <coughs> on the left you know, show us, because in Hainan, it's very, it's the youngest province of China. And in the countryside of Hainan, the people cannot drink clean water. And we help them to dig the well, you know, to help them to drink the clean water. More, now more than 100. Helping people in the countryside, and Hainan has always has donated hundreds, millions of RMB in supporting education, orphans, and disabled, and poor people, and even for the disaster victims. The picture shows us it's a uh, the earthquake in in uh, in Qinghai province. It's Yushu, a very small city, but a very uh, serious damage by the earthquake. And the V Hainan Airlines team support team is the first uh, several team to be on site to support the local people. And we also very focus on the protect our environments and use lots of new technology. In our operation, to you know, to do some benefits, you know, to the our environments. And this picture shows, you know, the Hainan Airlines Group is the only Chinese company to get a award from United Nations. It's a South South Award. It's coverage social responsibilities in year twenty. And we also, you know, awarded by the Ministry of Civil Affairs and the China Charity Award. Now we are looking for some, uh, another topic is about the economic. The next few pages show us how about the Few, uh, how about the economic environment and how about the business environment? I mean, talking about the aviation industry in China. This chart told us, you know, everybody know China is the world's largest population. It's more than 1.35 billion. It's about 20, uh, one, one five of the world population. And also last year, the total GDP is 9.2 trillion US dollars is the world's second, second largest economy just after USA. And the, the, the chart shows the trend, you know, the source is, is from, uh, sorry, it's from the National Bureau of Statistics of China. By the year of 
2020, the total GDP will go up to, it's about uh, mm, 12 trillion US dollar. I think maybe higher than this. And this is the, the GDP growth rate. We can see something happened during the year 2008 to 2010. It's a world crisis by the uh, some risk uh, bankrupt in developed economic. But after then, it's become stable. I think lots of people, you know, including the some economics and politicians, they are very worried about the China, how it goes China in future. But I think by not only just the you know the, the Chinese uh, the bureau uh, Statistics Bureau of China and also other from the IMF and other organizations, the trend is clear. In next ten years, China economic will grow at a rate of about seven to eight. China is so important because I think all, all of us believe China economic will have absolutely a very important impact on the other countries, including USA and the European Union. And as, as we know, transition of China economic is extremely tough task. Already in the future, it's few ways unknown. But we believe our future is bright. We believe in our new leadership in China. This, uh, this chart is uh, talking about uh, the, some uh, habits, you know, the Chinese uh, people, consumption. The data is uh, it's about, uh, to, uh, because in last year we have not uh, the latest data, but it's about uh, 2012. You can see more than 35 billion passengers travel by the road, system, uh, road transportation. And about 200, 258 million passengers travel by the water. And how about air transportation? It's more than 320 million and 1.9 billion passengers travel by the railway system. I think everybody knows about uh, the high-speed railway system is very developed in China. And this force manners in the, is the main transportation system of China. The number shows us very huge. And this is about the middle class in China According to the Forbes, this is, they have some uh, polls about the, the middle class in China. It shows us now the middle class, the main is uh, that the age is uh, between 25 to 40. And annual income between uh, US dollar, or US dollar, is 10,000 to 60,000. And in 2010, more than 300 million people in China were considered to be middle class. And we can see the trends in the, by the year 2030, more than 38% middle class of the world comes from China. That's really amazing. Now, I, I would like to take some typical samples. How about the holiday economic in China? These two pictures is very impressive. The upper one is uh, about uh, Great Wall in China, in Beijing, Badaliang, Great Wall. And the below is uh, Forbidden Cities. This chart uh, tells some very interesting things about uh, the last year, National Days. It's a seven days 
vacation for all of the China. You see, 7.7 7 million people take the air transportation. This equals the population of Bulgaria. As about 82 million take the rules. This is about the population of Germany. And more than 310 million passengers they transported by the road and the water system. This number bigger than the population of European Union. As about 870 billion RMB is doing the, you know, I mean, for in, in the seven days vacations, the people, you know, on the road, uh, on the retail and the food consumptions. And more than 428 uh, million travelers bought about income of 223 billion RMB. I mean, for the total tourist industry, only in seven days. And this chart is about the aviation industry. You can see during the past 14 years, it's grows up very quickly. The growth rate is more than 90%. Last year, we have, uh, sorry. And by the year uh, 2014, it will go in more than 120 billion in you know, 1914s. And this is also a very expressive uh, chart. You know. uh, uh, I don't know whether you know about the single day in China. It's the uh, 11th November because all the number is 1111. It means single day is no. And this day is the last single day. We have uh, the biggest uh, online shopping website. It's a Taobao. It's a, a company of Alibaba. It's just like eBay in China, uh, in US. You know, more than 35.2 billion RMB. It's about, uh, I think it's more than, it's more than uh, 5 billion, uh, 5 billion US dollar. Just in, one day, the people shopping online. And this single day, just three years, you know, every year grows more than triples. So it's really amazing. Even for me, I don't know what will happen next single days. And uh, the people like to, uh, to, to, to compare with the, the Amazon in, China, uh, in US, but this time, Alibaba one. Just tell us how about abilities, how the people shopping in the in the modern time. Okay. Done. And this is about uh, the aviation industry of China. I think it's very also very quickly the grocery during the past uh, 10 years is more than 12%. And by the year of 2020s, we will take more than 300 million people per year. I think maybe the half of the US. And this, show, this chart showed us uh, how about the, uh, the, the airports. Last year, we have more than 25 airports. Their traffic is more than 10,000, uh, 10 million people. It's very large. And this is the total fleet of China. Last year, we have more than 2,000, almost 2,200. And I think in the next five to 10 years, it will be double.
all about show us the future is bright, not only for the business, but also for the political citizens. And in China, and for China, for the world, we believe the future is bright. And the Hainan will also invest not only in China, but also outside China. And the Hainan Aviation Strategy will expand our global business. I think by the year of 2020s, 2020s, our revenue will double, our fleet will double, probably more than 30 or 40 percent comes from outside China. In this fast changing world, what will drive a company to make continuously success? Personally, I think there are some very important key factors. The so first of all, we always need to know what will happen. We should have a insight into the trends. The second, to build ability to make correct, direct decision. The third, quick actions than our competitors. And the fourth, implementation for our strategy. I believe Asian group will success in China, in China, in future. And this year is the year of horse in China and in almost all the Eastern country of the world. We have the culture, the, sim the similar culture. In year we have lots of progress in China. Sorry, I would like to use Chinese because it's a, um, very difficult to translate. We have lots of uh, proverbs, you know, 龙马精神, uh, 马道成功. I wish best wish to all of you. 马年吉祥. Thank you for your time. Thank you again. Thank you, uh, Mr. Yu. Um, I have known the Hainan Airlines for a long, long time, and I just want to share this uh, personal experience uh, with you. My view is that Hainan Airlines is successful because of two reasons. One, capital and leadership. Capital because they have George Soros as their shareholder. Can you imagine at each board meeting what he expects from the, the performance of the joint venture? Leadership because if you know the company, it has a very, very uh, progressive uh, corporate culture, uh, started by a gentleman by the name of Mr. Chen Feng. I think many of you would know him. He's still the honorary chairman of the company and still actively involved in the company. So uh, the soul of the company actually came from this gentleman, Mr. Chen Feng. 